To solve this polynomial equation, we first need to simplify that. And to do that, let's use distributive property. We can distribute this x into this x. x times x will give us x squared. Then x times a positive 6 will give us a positive 6x. Moving on to our other set of parentheses, we'll have negative 3 times negative 2, which will give us a negative 6x. And then be very careful here, negative 3 times a negative 3 will give us a positive 9. Now, our next step is we need to simplify even further by combining like terms. Positive 6x and negative 6x will cancel each other out, leaving us with x squared plus 9. And this is why I told you to be very, very careful with that last multiplication of negative 3 times a negative 3. If you hadn't done that and you would have gotten x squared minus 9, you would have thought that this is a difference of squares, and that would have led you to answer choice C. However, in this case, where we have a positive 9, if we tried to set that equal to 0 and solve, we would need to subtract 9 from both sides. These would cancel, leaving us with x squared is equal to a negative 9. And this is a false statement. There are no two identical numbers that could be multiplied together, that could be squared, to give us a negative number, because a negative times a negative is always a positive. And a positive times a positive is always a positive. There are no two identical numbers that can make a negative. Therefore, there are no solutions to this problem.